over East, a matchup between LAG and the New York subpar. I'm joined by Jake once again. And we're gonna have a, you know, we get to see Rio here. I'm excited. Yeah, shout out Rio Hardpoint, everybody's new favorite hardpoint map in the game. Uh, giving you a lot of interactions from start to finish. You know, we're seeing a lot of 40 bombs be popped on this map. And uh, let's see if we can get one today. Obviously, you know, this isn't the CDL. This is silver pre-made, but you never know what you're going to get. LAG off to an okay start. They got the hard point for now. But as you can see, uh, the main focus is going to be on the new rotation. This is where P2 is going to be. Trizzy's making the right read, but can he find any kills? No, he will not. New York sub are going to have the control for the time being, but for how long is the next question? Shio, LAG, they rack up over 30 seconds on that P1. You got to think New York sub part. They're going to want to answer back quick. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of time on that P1, especially because it's so easy to contest. Oh. So, I mean, surprised to see, but the break is in. That's three dead, and just like that, New York just absolutely wiped out of the hill. So, LAG comes in, and they come in absolutely swinging. Three big kills. The break is on, and, well, I mean, New York got, you know, 12 seconds. So, it's, uh, it's something, but not really that much. And now you got to fight your way up the hill. Yeah, and I mean, for now, it's it's not like LAG did anything, like, unbelievably crazy. They they found a nice, you know, seam. I think maybe New York Subpar read those spawns incorrectly or something, but uh, they're able to break into the front pretty early on. Eric on a five-kill streak as well, obviously playing for that cruise missile. And uh, this map, you're going to want to use your streak because you really want any time you can get. If you want to open up that P5, open up that P2, or the P4, uh, it's definitely a good time to find it, but... Eric still has to do the job of getting it, and you can tell he's playing slow, trying to find it. But LAG off to an absolutely blistering start here, 76 to 13 for the start here. How long can New York subpar hold the P3? And Eric got shut down on the bridge. He tried to chow out towards the street, ended up going down. And New York is going to be well, that was a team kill there out of ace, but LAG is going to be on the hill and picking this one up. Young is going to be on here, just prone in the door, trying to just stall out. Knows the player on the steps. There they go, and that's going to leave only. Uh, how am I going to pronounce this? x -tragic? I want to say tragic, tragic, but like, I don't know if that's actually how he, it's pronounced. You got to think that's what he's going for, though, right? Like, yeah, that's I tragic think? right there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think I'm, we get I'm to, hoping. And then, then they're going to watch decision. back this VOD, and then they'll be like, that, that is absolutely not how it's pronounced. And we'll be like, <laughs> yeah, right. don't know what yeah, to say. Right. I mean, I'll ping him in. I'll ping him at in. Least I know how to say, <laughs> at least I know how to say Young Fig Newton. I think that one's pretty straightforward. Yeah, you're right. Ace, pretty short. I'll mm -hmm. take it. Eric, also pretty short. <laughs> pretty easy. I'll take him. We are heading to P4 here. LAG with a 40-point lead. And uh, they're going to be here early for this rotation as well. No one in the hill off the rip because they are losing players. Two dead means that New York should have a chance to get in on here. And they're going to pick that player. But look at the flank. Number six coming in. This could be absolutely massive. A tree to catch them from behind. Finds one, finds two. Oh. The snap is there. Three dead. New York is going to get blown out of the hill. They most certainly are. Shout out Eric, 8-3 and three so far, but Trizzy did a lot of the heavy lifting there. He goes on a three streak right there. Kind of gets his uh, his feet wet there, and he is frying now. Finds a fourth, isn't able to get uh, anywhere close to that cruise missile, but New York subpar are going to keep that hill white for the time being. You see player two, that's going to be Jay Rules. He is going to be focused on that new hill. We know that uh, this is going to be a mixy hill, but it's most certainly one where you can find some time on if you play it right. It's going to be a fight here, though. Ace going to be the first one to maybe get in some action here. Young Fig Newton is going to go down. Ace going to occupy this corner here and with him there it's going to be impossible for new york so far to get any time on this point just yet they got to play their kills they're able to find two two more to go it's going to be eric and ace near this new time young fig newton young fig newton on the flank and uh new york so far i think they found themselves a break yep and they they were getting kind of split on there but it, it you do end up being j rules in the back is able to clear them out and you know finish out that side of the map so that is going to be the spawn secured over on that end for the time being as new york is going to get forced out of the hill here it's going to be lag in young fig newton up top is not going to find anything here and asap is asap gavsky is going to get caught in the back they're watching the flank and the setup is really nice here out of lag as you can see they're set and ready to go and new york is going to move back towards p1 here as it's going to be you know quite a lead honestly by the time this p1 pops first rotation is going to finish it's going to be 100 points and new york is getting cleared out of the rotation too they're not able to pick anything up and that will be a p5 to p1 very quick transition here for lag 
And this is kind of, you know, surprising here because, you know, obviously LAG up almost 100 points now, but you look at the scoreboard and you think, like, this game should be close. I mean, it should not be a 100-point lead. I mean, they're only outslaying by maybe six or seven, maybe a little bit more if my math. Well, I'm definitely wrong about that. But, you know, if you look at the scoreboard, it's not that crazy. But 40 seconds left on the clock here, New York subpar. They have been fighting from behind this whole time. But any time you can get is definitely steps in the right direction. And for now, 30 seconds left on the clock for the P1. They have the good side spawns for the P2. You see Warlord going to be worrying about it early on. But the kills on this old hill going to be kind of the, the most important ones for the time being. Because you can definitely retake that P2. But for now, you want all that time on P1. Yeah. Yep. And right as we say that, they are leaving P1. So everyone's going for that rotation of P2, which is a very chaotic hill as well. Honestly, there's not like... I don't know if you could say there's a dedicated money hill on Rio, to be honest. Which I could be wrong about, like P2, P4, if you hold them down, like, could be money. But there's no, like, lockdown money hill the way that you have it on Invasion, right? Which is honestly kind of nice to see. Yeah, most certainly. I mean, every hill can be a mix if, if played uh, a specific way. And also, you can find a lot of time on most of these hills if you do it the right way play it the right way at least when i say a certain way it's like you kind of want to control these hills you want to do your best to kind of make sure that you know all the enemies are in front of you but if you kind of slip up and let a spawn out happen or let somebody sneak in through a lane uh things can get incredibly mixy which is kind of what we're seeing now trizzy having to fight from behind here because his teammates you know fall but lag retain their 90 plus point lead or make it 80 plus but for now New York subpar on the rotation again they've been in favor of a lot of these rotations so far they just have not been able to lock it down let's see if they can make it happen this time around yeah, we are going to see warlord is going to be here i mean new york has been really good about these rotations they've been really good about being there early and you know leaving ahead of time in order to secure these spawns and everything and being there set up for the new hill and it's going to be leg that's just kind of slamming the front door down and they've done a really good job of that too to be honest Trizzy's going to be the first one in, is going to fall immediately here, and we're going to see Ace coming from the outside, but the team is falling, it's only going to be a 1v1 on the hill, and it will be J Rules coming out on top here, so New York is actually going to put a pretty big dent in this lead here, if they can retain the next 30 seconds here, hold off one more push from LAG, and they're going to be right within striking distance as we head to P4. Yeah, and I mean, if they find another wave of kills here, they can most certainly find a, a rotation here to the P4, and that is not what you want if you are LAG, because right now you got a 50-point lead, but this P4 is probably e the easiest one to find a lot of time on, because you got that white truck. If you get somebody posted up at that box's area, it can be so hard to cut them down, and for now, Warlord with three, he's been activated, 16 and 16 so far. J Rules has kind of been the main slayer for the New York subpar squad, 19 and 11 so far. ASAP Gavsky kind of playing lockdown defense right now, and you can see the New York subpar, they are playing this a little better than they have in the past. All of their ducks are in a row, and they are reaping the rewards, 125 to 171, but they find a lot of that time here. It's gonna be young Fig Newton all alone. He finds one, can he find multiple? He is able to stay alive, and uh, the rest of LAG are gonna find a break. That's a big four down for them, and that might be the nail in the coffin for them. I think that was New York subpar's opportunity to strike. Yeah, that was a big chance there, and Ace is able to clean them out of the hill there. As you can see, New York is still trying to get in on this, and they're going to be able to, you know, try to pick up a little bit. They're going to go down, and this is going to mean a, probably a transition to P5. There's 10 seconds to go, but Eric is already here, so they do have to clear out Eric. Mm. And they're actually going to get caught from behind in P1 in the rotation, so that's two dead for New York. And that is going to be a bit of a problem here. Most certainly will, Shio. I mean, LAG, they're not even jumping on time yet. They're playing the kills. They're playing the information game, and they're doing it the right way. You see all of New York subpar trying to flood here, but it's going to be Eric they need to get rid of for now. And Young Fig Newton is able to find the kill, but there's one more there that's going to be tragic. And Ace, not sure he's got the read on these spawns, but they are to his left. He's able to find one. He finds a second as well. Now they know where New York subpar are coming from. They cannot win it here, but boy, can they get darn close. And they are putting this game farther and farther out of reach with each second that ticks by. LAG playing flawlessly currently. Yeah, no, I mean, they're just playing absolutely fantastic so far. Another two dead are going to go down. It's going to be Warlord with the pistol. Finds one, playing on the stairs, trying to find the second here, and is not going to be able to do so. Trizzy's going to be on the point as well, and, you know, yeah, they're not going to be able to close it out here, but they're going to have a massive lead. They're going to be doubling the point total right now of New York. 
As the, you know, oh. the back and forth in the hill, and Trizzy has a rival in the back pocket to work with. P1 is going to be up next, and you know, unlike the last time here, we do have at least New York set up early. They don't end up going down in that rotation. They got caught out in the last cycle, and we're here for round number two. And so far, it's been all New York actually on the hill. There's going to be one vending goes down. Eskies is going to be another. That player gets caught. There's going to be one more. J rules just barely spotted the head, and we'll find oh, that as well. Count. So New York holding the line right now. And right as I say that, I, I, I my bad. I blew it. Let's see how it closes <laughs> out. Geos, LAG are going to hop into the hill. Only seven seconds left to go. New York subpar are going to have to fly. J rules on that Esky, but you don't have time. You gotta go. Nine, zero. LAG win the map. 120, 150. Oh my gosh, Geo. It went 250 to 128, and I mean, if you look at the scoreboard, like I said before, it wouldn't really look like that's how the game was going to go. I mean, you see Trizzy right here, 21 and 25, but he was making all the plays. Welcome back, he everyone, to COD Rec League. We are going to be up and ready to go with the SND. It's going to be Invasion, and if you don't like Invasion, that sucks, because you're going to see another Invasion after this as well. <laughs> it is going to be New York on the attack off the rip, and we apologize because we call them tragic and his name is actually x tragic so we definitely screwed that one up for the duration of the last map so that's on me that's on me i mean to be fair it was a convincing argument i won't lie it was a convincing argument and the poor guy <laughs> immediately goes down so we'll stop talking about him because apparently that's the curse but he is going to fall and that's going to be Literal, first blood yeah, and that is going to be a shift towards the b street now from lag i mean you see all those lag arrows just pointing that direction you got ace holding the cross it's going to be so hard to get past that guy you know without damage eric still has a nade and a stun and you see there's been a call to maybe go toward a and that causes asap gavsky to get cut off cut down and now a 3v3 scenario and it looks like lag are kind of picking up what they're putting down but warlord on the pinch is he going to be able to find anything he doesn't have the line of sight he is able to find it will any trades come through trizzy is going to get him off that bomb 16 seconds left to go new york subpar don't have time to work with here can he find the kills he will 1v1 now warlord versus eric is he going to be able to get that bomb down he's going to maybe play oh. for the kill I'm gonna find it warlord with the snap new york subpar starting off map two on the right foot oh, i thought he was 100 percent dead to rights there holy smokes you know just the snap at the oh. end the double headshot takes it out and you got to feel for Eric there in that situation. You play that the right way the whole way through, and then you get four bullet MCW'd right to the dome piece, mid P3. It's like, or mid P4, my bad, but it's like, what else are you to do there? It's like, if I'm Warlord, I'm hopping on that bomb, but he says no. He's playing for that kill, and it pays off. So now, LAG on the back foot, if you weren't here for the map one, LAG, aka Lag. I need to start calling them Lag, because that's their name. Lag. Win map one in a decisive effort, but the scoreboard didn't really give us the idea that this was, you know, that far of a of a gap between these two teams. And New York subpar goes to show why that might have been the case. Warlord with three in the round one. Eric, though, with the first blood, now you may be able to work up that A side. Yep, that is going to be one going down. ASAP Gavsky is going to be here watching the street. He's going to spot one player, doesn't know there's one still P3. May has an inkling of it. x Ragic has not spotted this out yet and is finally going to. Goes down. Second player is going to be out. And Young Whoa. Fig Newton from across the entire map. Picks that one up and Warlord finds another. It's all down to Ace. Ace in the 1v3. Not going to get anything going. Down he goes. That's going to be 2-0 New York. Off to a really good start here. Absolutely. They win the offense with the clutch effort from Warlord and they make it happen in the round two as well and don't forget everybody the search and destroy scoreboard is a little bit broken from time to time you'll see people with zero kills that most certainly have kills so don't take the scoreboard with a grain of salt for the time being you can see warlord three and oh on the scoreboard but he's on a five streak i'm gonna assume he's got five so he's one off of that cruise missile and that would be an enormous piece of artillery to have in the search and destroy if he is able to acquire that and it looks like it is going to be an a push for the new york sub part this time around let's see how it pans out yeah if we're going to see they are going to make their way towards a here and well trizzy's right on the other side of this door and knows there's probably somebody here who's going to make <laughs> the first move who's going to crack that door open an inch chances are it'll probably be young fig newton who's going to go flying through that door in a moment but trizzy Kind of aware of this. And said, oh, 
Oh, oh, that oh. Was, turn, the, the, the timing on that was unreal. It just turns around right as the door opens and not able to get it. He basically had the drop on him until that door opened. And I just hit a button that I wasn't supposed to hit. My bad. <laughs> but it is going to be... Plain not feeling good about that one. Yeah, I mean, that smoke is going to go down. And that is going to cut off Ace's line of sight here. The nade's going to go out. That should get hit marker. Doesn't actually. And ASAP Gasky will get caught out. But the bomb has gone down. And Warlord is in a bit of an awkward spot for this, actually. Should have been spotted on the street. And I think they should be where both players are actually in. Old P1 here. One's going to get caught on the cross. And oh. it's now all going to be on Young Fig Newton in the 1v3 here. How many can he take down? He's going to have to check that bomb again in just a short time here. Ace is going to be on that defuse. He has help, but it doesn't matter. X Ragic with the kill right there. Lag, put one on the board. Well, they just close things out. So nicely played. LAG is going to get their first round up and locked in here. Honestly, just nice retake here. They're all over. X Ragic with the great shots as well. Getting mm -hmm. that headshot and pops a young Fig Newton not able to pick that one up and i mean ace was on the bomb anyways at the time so even if he was low he might not have gone out for that check and that would have been the round anyway so lag secures the round and that's going to be a nice you know you don't go down 3-0 to start off and that would have been a little bit worrying and that was the case but here we are and it's going to be lag making their way towards b here and there's only going to be warlord but warlord kind of a scary player who does he does not have a cruise missile here i saw the lit up and i was like oh maybe doesn't. but no that's a uav <laughs> not able to call that one in sadly i mean it's a good thing we don't have that in the cdl game mode but um he is able to find one to his name the first blood and let's see how lag or lag react off of that i mean we see them kind of in a sticky situation here over at the b side you see all those new york subpar arrows they're holding the cross it's gonna be young fig newton but I mean, the peak might be in from Ace. I'm not sure. He is going to back up. So it looks like LAG just looking for a pick here. Not sure they're going to find one. The timer is ticking quickly. Yep, and the issue here, though, is that they have to kill Warlord because they've used up their smoke. Eric had the smoke, and it's already gone. So that does mean they don't really have a good way of covering this cross. Shots are going to go in. Warlord's going to brought down very well. And that is probably your opening, honestly, to go if you can and cross. And cross to the bomb oh, side, does. they will. But it's going to be a 2v4 here. Ace is going to get that bomb down, but Eric now has everything to do. Got to hold the line here and is going to find one. And it has to immediately reposition and gets caught in the back. Ace in the 1v3. I think he gets spotted by ASAP Gavsky right there. He's got an artillery to fight against. He is going to make it out. He's in ice cream. He's getting mixed. Evo Warlord chases him down. Big play. But even if he stays alive there in ice cream, I think New York subpar win that round because that bomb is going to be planted on the other side of ice cream. It would have been very hard to find that player off the bomb. But New York subpar looking formidable here in the map too. Sending it 3-1 through uh, four rounds here. And, I mean, it, you got to strike while the iron's hot if you're New York subpar because with the way that lag is playing, there is, you know, no signs of, um, you know, lack of play here. It's just New York subpar playing it the right way, lag, unable to respond just yet, but maybe, maybe the defense is what they needed. Definitely. We're going to see where New York decides to take this one. And it does look like they... Oh, Okay. I was a little bit bamboozled earlier. I thought they were taking it towards B, and it looks like they're going to send two players up here to try and probe things out. But Eric is going to pick Young Fig Newton, and that is going to be the bomb. So the early kill going the way of LAG is basically what you want to see. And that bomb is kind of stuck out there around the corner. That is in the open. Mm. LAG probably not aware that was the bomb. But New York now has to work their way across the map because they're up on B Street, and that's not where that bomb is. Yeah, the thing is here, LAG might not know that the bomb is down, but player seven, I'm not sure he's going to be moving off of the spot. He's going to see any player that tries to play for that bomb. And J Rules and ASAP Gavsky, they are just about as far away as you could possibly be. You see J Rules trying to cross, but there's just really nothing he could do. Ace locking down that mid tank. And um, it's going to be a 1v4 now for ASAP Gavsky. That ends real quick. Lag. Put the defense to their name. Three to two now is the score. You gotta wonder, can lag win an offense, or is it gonna be defensive prowess yet again for the New York subpar? We've seen them play well so far, but I think if lag wanna get back into this game, they're gonna have to win this round right here. Yep, we are gonna see how things go. You do wanna see LAG pull out an offensive round at one point here. 
And yes, I, the scoreboard is bugged as well. A lot of these players have more than zero or one kill so far. So apologies again. And they left the bomb behind. Somebody turn around. Oh, no. no. AG. You guys forgot something real important back there. <laughs> and actually, this would have been a crazy rush if they didn't actually forget that bomb. This would have been crazy. But Young Finnoon's going to come in behind. The street was entirely open. There was nobody here because all of New York went right up the middle of the map. Unfortunately, though... Having to turn around and stop that push means that gave Young Fig Newton a good chance to get in the back here and is becoming a bit of an issue because now LEG's got to hunt this guy down. They don't know where he is. They finally found him. So that's going to be one, but look at the flank coming in from number four on the minimap. He did hit that flank last time around. Warlord's got the cross as well. He picks up two New York subpar. Make quick work of that round. And you got to think, you're not really sure if uh, Young Fig Newton can hit that quick flank if that player has the bomb in hand. Maybe if the push is a little bit more coordinated, you're able to maybe pick up that pinch. But instead, you fall doomed to the quick pinch. And I mean, you, it, you could just see it on the mini-map. Once Young Fig Newton finds that kill, they just have to spend so much time trying to clear him out. They finally are able to get him out. But by that time, Aves Sapkowski has already run across the map, fully through a street, and is in their spawn. It's like that sort of time is not time you can just give up for free. And they paid the price for it. Now New York subpar up 4-2, to two, but the first blood goes away of LAG. Let's see if they can continue it on with another one. Yeah, because Raji trying to get away and is going to successfully get behind cover. Got stunned out in the open. That was, you know, normally a death now, but I think, you know, enough cover was coming from the team. As uh, Asap Gavsky just running a circle around the tank and gets shot in the back. So this is now going to be a 2v4 here for New York. And, you know, after that amazing round in the last one, doesn't, not sure how much momentum is going to be built off of that given the current state of things. Going to find one, the Warlord picks up X Ragic. 10 and 2. I don't know if that's real. Might be, that's actually. Real. Yeah, pretty sure it's been real. Warlord's been popping off on this map so far. Been an anchor, basically, for the side of New York. As we are going to see, player number one, J Rules, is going to run this one back here, and we're going to see where they decide to take it. And as you can see, Shio, the, the bottom right is an accurate statistic uh, tracker. So J Rules is able to pick up his first kill there. He is one in five so far. 19 seconds left to go, though. They got to get this bomb down. They got to get it down quick. J Rules can be flying across that map. Eric is able to pick up Warlord. Now a 1v2 scenario for him. Not sure he's going to be able to get this bomb down in time. You see Eric going to be moving quickly. He's going to find him off that bomb. Lag, keep it alive. Four to three now. Yep, they're able to pick that one up. Four to three is going to be your score on here as LAG. I mean, it was a 2v4, and then it turned into a 2v2, and that's when you kind of sweat a little bit if you're the side of LAG, but mm -hmm. they pick up Warlord, and then just not enough time on the clock for J Rules. Tries to get that bomb down, and is going to get sniffed out immediately. And that's going to be a big round there for LAG to stay within striking distance, because like he said in the last S&D, the 5-2 would have been the dagger. And LAG holds it off a little mm -hmm. bit here. 4-3 is going to be your scoreline. And they remember the bomb this time. Yeah, now up 4-3, you're in 5-3 curse potential. It's like that's a much more dangerous place to be than, uh, you know, up 5-2. But first blood goes the way of Warlord. He is having himself a game so far. On the other side of the map, though, they find Apesap Gavsky, and that kind of just opens up the flood lanes over there on the A side. Not sure if Warlord gets spotted. He puts in some shots, and I think he finds himself in the blue area. And now we have another case of can lag uh, flush out this player from this area because that's kind of what young uh, Fig Newton was to do the last time around on the defensive end and warlord is just going to make them tweak he goes in the blue area and he gets out with his life he's back dvd they have no idea they most definitely do now and they're going to peek that eric oh, with the boy. slow peek and is going to go down <laughs> and i mean we got 30 seconds to go look where lag is they're in the corner of the map they are mm -hmm. so far away from a bomb site right now you can see ace is literally just going to sprint down the street trying to get a timing maybe as Warlord's going to peek around the corner, and Warlord is going to pick that up. x Ragic finds one in the middle of the map. Has the 8 oh attack stance on. Is able to get it off, but gets shot no. in the back. Not able to get around the corner <laughs> in time. Definitely had the makings of a really nice 1v3 there. And unfortunately, x Ragic just not able to get away fast enough here. As the back just exposed for a second. One bullet is all Young Fig Newton uh. needed. And that's going to be a fifth round for New York. It's match point.
I mean, if he gets away with his life, he grabs that bomb. He's planning it at B for sure. But instead, we don't get to see the crazy 1v3. Good showing out of New York subpar. They go up 5-3, but don't forget the curse is in, fellas. Uh, lag down 5-3, but they find themselves on that defensive end. New York subpar leaning toward that A side of the map. You're going to have to fight through Trizzy and Eric here. Eric going to be locking that side of the map down. It's going to be hard to get past Trizzy right here. We've seen this game be played before. Last time it was Young, young Fig Newton and Trizzy. This time around, it's going to be Trizzy versus J Rules. Let's see if he can find one here because that that might have been like the start of everything here in this game. That might be what led to the New York subpar being up 5-3 is that door opening timing from Trizzy, if you guys remember that. New York subpar stacked here in the old P1 area. Let's see where the kills fly. Ooh. And Jay was gonna come through. It's gonna be a one-for-one -one trade there, but two kills go the way of LAG, so the trade goes in favor of their side here. You can see Young Fig Noon just flies across and shooting at an empty air basically. Looking for a potential transition is gonna open a door that might make LAG kind of think about it. But the problem is that they're not aware that X-Ragic is that oh. far pushed up here. X-Ragic knows that they're definitely not going B. It is definitely an A hit that is coming in here. And that is gonna be a transition. You're gonna see Eric all the way in the back both of these players not really that close and they got to link up here and asap gavsky is already thinking about dark here thinking about where could the player possibly be and is gonna get spotted out there's gonna be the first shot the stun check comes out not fast enough and it's all on young fig newton now in the 1v2 young fig newton against the world let's see what x ragic and eric can do here shots are made but eric's gonna come flying in he's unable to find the kill 21 seconds left to go young fig newton gonna be full hp x ragic has the info but he's got to play for that bomb young fig newton gets the check the fight's gonna be there 11 seconds left to go and i'm not sure x ragic's gonna be able to find the kill here he does not and the new york subpar find the game too they go up or they make it one-to-one -one in the series with a very good showing in the Search and Destroy. No, definitely. I mean, it was a fantastic show, and honestly, some really good rounds in Warlord going absolutely crazy for sure. And welcome back, everyone, to COD Rec League. It is going to be our second match of the night. It is going to be our next match here. Ready to go. It is going to be... LAG in New York. It's going to be 1-1 one, one maps series and 0-0 zero, zero on the map right now as we do have the control and it is going to be, you know, slightly scuffed spectator here. So apologies for that in advance, everybody. Yeah, and for any questions as to why this is the case, let, let it just be known that if we were watching this in the Codcaster point of view right now, you would rather us be in the spectator point of view because it is just absolutely unwatchable from start to finish. So do not worry about it. This is just what we have to deal with right now. Hopefully the game gets fixed soon so this doesn't have to be kind of a consistent thing. But that is the lay of the land currently. We are going to be spectating LAG for this round. We cannot switch teams. Uh, we are going to be switching teams in between rounds because that's just the way that the game works. That's how the spectator system works. But well, for it's, now, it's I mean, LAG. Flip. We might not actually flip teams between rounds. You never know. <laughs> I mean, I guess you never know. I mean, this is based off what we saw last time. I mean, one thing to point out, Shio, is the last series, we were watching the offensive side. This series, we're watching the defensive side. Oh my gosh, Ace is on the pinch. He sees three. Can he find all of them? No, he does not, but he puts a lot of damage into young Fade Newton. There has been one tick across the board for the New York subpar. Not sure if they're going to be able to get back to that point. Four seconds left on the clock. There's going to be at least one person holding the cross. They are going to jump on the point for a moment. I think the team kill comes in. And the time limit gets reached. So LAG, lag, are going to find the round one. New York subpar only get one tick. And I got to tell you, Shio, I cannot imagine that's the way they wanted to start this. Yeah, no, definitely not what they wanted for sure. And I mean, you are going to see... Oh, hey, wait, I can change the team here. Oh, okay. Uh, okay what... Oh, okay. Hold on. We're back. Oh, oh wait. It does actually no, don't change cha this time. Don't change teams. Don't right, change we're, teams. We're going to stay I on attack. Might, like, we're going to stay with the attack guys here. <laughs> if I, have the I don't want you to like mess anything up. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I don't want to touch it. We're going to leave it alone for the time being, but Warlord and ASAP Gavsky are going to chime in with kills. Xragic is going to pick one up as well. As you can see, they're going to be on their way here in towards the point, but J-Rules is there to shut it down, so the A side push going to get to... 
Gonna get denied here, and this is gonna be two players now set up here over towards B. We're gonna stack the point here. You're gonna see that bar tick in. Already more ticks than New York in the last round, and that's a pretty good sign. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely the start you wanted if you are LAG. You want the upper hand in that tick advantage. You're gonna get that third tick, assuming that nothing insane happens. ASAP Gapsky is able to find one from deep, but he's unable to contest. So, uh, that's gonna be one capture on the board for lag. Now you gotta kinda transition over to A. You got two minutes left on the clock, but me and you both know Shio, and I'm sure everybody in chat knows how difficult it can be to capture that A point from time to time. It takes a lot to kinda fight your way onto that because those ARs are locking down that street uh, with irons locked in. So it can be kinda hard to find your way across that map, but lag are gonna try to do just that. They have this player stuck plat. They are going to single him out. That's gonna be young fig newton ace uh with the uav in hand we talked about that before cannot use it so let's see what the play is now looks like that a street is going to be run down yep and you know, you're gonna see they're moving up here ace is gonna spot one but is gonna get stunned up and not able to finish that i believe trizzy was able to find that kill that trizzy will fall and there's gonna be a player on the mid fire truck there and it will be young fig newton takes out ace here Teammate looking to revenge him. It's going to be Eric, and it falls to his gun, too. So, Young Fig Newton locking it down in mid. Picks up two. Warlord is going to exchange some shots here with x -Ragic. Nothing found here. So, I mean, as of right now, despite the good start that we had off the rip, it is going to be LAG. Going to be a little bit behind here right now. Most well, certainly. I mean, Warlord is cutting players currently. He is able to find a third. Not sure how many he has on that kill streak right now he's gonna find a team kill with it as well so a uh, tough situation for him so at the bare minimum i'm pretty sure he's got a three kill streak um he's got eight kills so far so it's gonna be interesting to see if he can find a cruise missile because that cruise missile can be so powerful especially on invasion control uh but i mean they're doing a great job of keeping them away from that a site i mean LAG haven't really even sniffed the A point just yet, but as I say that, this kind of becomes the opportunity. Trizzy and x are going to try to fly on through. The kills are there. x and Ace combined for two. They're going to hop on that A point, and now x he has the cross. I'm going to need that player on A to stay down because they are going to have to fly at it. Two players on that A point. The first tick comes through. The wall bangs are not there just yet for New York. Trizzy, he's going to make that play to up front close. That nade's going to come through along with the Done. Jay Rule is going to find the kill. And the contest is there. Warlord's going to pick up Ace. Eric trying to fly on in, but he gets killed from behind. Eight seconds left to go. I'm not sure LAG are going to make it. I don't think it's going to happen. It's five. I mean, it's going to be five ticks, though, over to the side of LAG. And that's going to be pretty big as it's going to be tied up 1 1, but New York with zero ticks. Basically, all but guarantees LAG to have defense if we go to a round five unless they end up getting all six ticks so we're gonna see how that goes here we're gonna be switching sides why does the score zero zero two like does anything work <laughs> okay i don't know which team we're gonna we're gonna hit escape out of that i'm on yeah, new york now play. <laughs> okay i'm on new york now, now on we the get attack. a new point of view yeah we got a new pov so we get to see the other side of the team here so, yeah i'm just gonna hit escape every time that happens to see what happens but actually the move. j rules is actually gonna break protocol here it's gonna be B hit for the. It's gonna be two players here over towards B. They're all set up here. And they just want their ticks. They want their ticks. And Warlord's Warlord got the cruise, cruise missile. If you peep that. Yep. So now you're gonna have to wonder how how you opt to use that. I'd say you save it for defense. I mean, we are one one right now, so you try to get as many ticks as you can here. But I mean, with the amount of ticks LAG got in that round one, you're gonna have to, you know, at least match that if you want to even sniff a uh, a round five uh control here in your favor because obviously you want that defense but new york subpar do a great job they almost find that b capture and i think they will i'm not sure if any more contests are going to come through no they won't so they capture that that b point quite early on two minutes left on the clock similar to the last round 25 to 25 life count but obviously that's the easy part the hard part is making your way toward that a site Yep, they're definitely going to be struggling for this. And you're going to see some wraps here. J-Rule's going all the way back to top blue here. You're going to see Young Fig Newton also bottom blue. So they're going to be making this push from the back side. They don't have to worry about anyone coming off a spawn just yet. But x Tragic just went down. So that's going to be a spawn in the back that they got to worry about here. And let's see. Young Fig Newton is going to go charging forward, but will get caught. Eric is going to find that kill. 
and you're gonna have asap gaski all the way in the back here and you know probably mm. though lag probably has a player up on the bridge right now given the positions here Oh, there's someone it's in the very corner. possible. Hexragic. He's playing that spot deep. He was ready for ASAP Gavsky. I mean, if you're ASAP Gavsky, you got to be pissed right now. There's no way that that happens. And you are just like, ah, oh, man, he's in the corner. It's more than that. It's like, wow, this guy's deep in the back in a corner. Now, Jay Rule is kind of questioning himself. Like, what do I do now? Because, you know, Hexragic could very well be in that corner. Not sure that's a full clear right there. There's the clear. But there he is. Not sure how he got there, but he makes the full wrap. Finds J Rules in the back. But ASAP Gavsky, guess what? He's back. Can he find the back pinch yet again? 22 lives left to go for um, LAG. 18 to go for New York. So you're going to have to find some kills here if you are ASAP Gavsky. He is able to find one. Where's X Rajagat is the question. There he is. He is going to be the main defensive hold for lag, but it's going to have to be more than that. There's the cruise missile called in. Young Fig Newton finds one as well. They got to get on that horse and find their way on the A point, and they will, but how many kills can they get? Yeah, I mean, x just gets picked out of the back there, and there's going to be a contest. Actually, someone comes in, and there's going to be two players oh. in the hill here as there's going to be a third that goes charging forward. Going to be one player, I believe, left inside the hill, and they're all been cleared, so that was the chance they had on A. And that is going to be four ticks. I don't think they're going to get any more with 13 seconds here unless they break through. All the gunfights got to go their way here. We're going to see they're going to go running for this. Guys, you got to get on the hill and you got to get on the hill now. They're going to not pick up that one. And that is going to be an early kill drop in. And I believe that is going to be time hit. It's going to be two to one LAG right here. And LAG, even if we go to defense, guaranteed that defense. Or sorry, get. If we go to the map round five, we are guaranteed defense for LAG. I got it out eventually. Yeah, and you'd love to see that. Yeah, I mean, I was having that trouble earlier when I was trying to read off the hard point score. It happens to all of us. Hit that escape button. Get us out of that situation. And let's see who we are spectating. We're going to be spectating New York subpar. And, you know, I'm with it because they got to stay alive here in this control. So we are watching kind of the stressful side of the map right here. You got to lock down this defensive end. But we've seen our fair share of offensive rounds one as well. So let's see how New York tends to operate here. Young Fig Newton is able to find two off the break there. So can he find more is the next question. It's going to be Eric locking down that street side. And you got to expect LAG to have maybe gone toward that B side of the map soon. Uh, but Young Fig Newton, as long as he's pushed up in mid, he's going to be a nuisance for sure. Maybe you can see, I mean, he's just trying to stay alive, working the sandbags here. And point blank, Trizzy's oh. going to be there. I think Trizzy was shooting at a teammate behind him and just pops and Young Fig Newton just pops up holding the trigger down. He's able to pick that one up. So this is a big start here for the side of New York. They're going to have players hopping on towards B here. It's going to be Young Fig Newton coming in and it's going to get picked though. Ace will get taken out, traded back though. And you're going to see Ace Abgaski going to force these spots over towards the B side. But I think all the team members have gone down. So he's forcing these spawns, but uh, there's kind of no one else on the map to help him out. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if you're Ace Abgaski, you just stay here because if your teammates find those kills at B, you know, great job. But... Uh, at this point, you know, you just want to retain that top palace control because that's another nuisance role for the team. So, and they get off that point. I'm not sure exactly where they're at. I'm not sure if those kills come through. Eric's going to be there. Do they finally find the team kill comes in as well? So, I mean, uh, New York subpar just extending this time and they're doing a great job of doing so. Warlord going to be locking down this right side of the map. The kill's coming through. Ace is going to be there. There's kills all over the place. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. See, this becomes a problem when we're spectating in spectator mode. It's like, I can't really see what's happening. And this just becomes so confusing. They finally find that B point, but ASAP Gavsky's still here and he needs to be flushed out or else he will become a problem very quickly. I mean, you just see everything, right? From the sandbags position, you can see literally everything on the map. He's going to come in behind Ace here. Ace just barely gets away with his life around the corner. ASAP Gavsky's looking for him here. And I'm pretty sure that should have hit. And it's going to just get in. Swoop in. Picks that kill up here. And you can see Asap Gavsky. They know he's here. Now they got to spend some time flushing him out. Getting him out of this position. They should be able to run him down here. But no, he finds the kill oh. on x Ragic And gets away here still. So, going to do a fantastic job. They still no. can't kill him. Oh my gosh, the kill streak continues. He doesn't find another one. He does have a cruise missile in that back pocket, so you might see him use that very soon here. Another team kill comes in for LAG. They don't want to see that. 18 to 7 life count. 
uh, New York subpar playing this round flawlessly. They do give up that B point, but it doesn't matter because LAG already had that round five defense secured. J rules. He sees two flying in through that side door. How many can he find? He is able to find one. The second one should be around, and it's going to be X Ragic. They might be able to make the quick push toward that time. A team oh. kill comes in for the opposition. ASAP Gavsky going to jump on that point, and I actually think that might do it to hop on that point, but it's going to be a 4v12 Shia. Gonna be 4v12 here, and this is kind of the last desperate attempt here, but they're doing all right here. Trizzy's gonna find one. Contest is in, and he's not gonna win it out. It's gonna be a 9v3. Make that oh, an no. 8v3. This might be the collapse here if they can stack the point here fast enough. And there's at least two players on it. Shots are coming through. ASAP Gavsky oh, goes no. down. You might not even get a chance to use that cruise as they all fall. And that's gonna be a three to one. LAG is gonna pull the cap off at the last second. Oh Ooh. my gosh, yo, what was that? A 3v12, a 3v11, and oh, New yeah. York subpar. They end up bottling it. I mean, you can't blame them. It happens. Dude, we to got them. New York. We have LAG going at it in the Silver East kickoff matchup. It's going to be 2-1 up LAG. And unfortunately, I have the colors flipped, so apologies for that. But on the stream, you guys will see it perfectly okay. It's just us that we have to worry about in the arrows as well. But it is going to be LAG going to be... Looking on the outside here as the early time is going to be going the way of the New York subpar here. Yeah, New York subpar. I mean, with the way they've been playing, I mean, you got to feel like this goes to map five. But, I mean, LAG, they definitely have their uh, their moments. I mean, we saw one in that map three control. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this kind of pans out. LAG kind of come off to a lead here. But this P1 is kind of give or take. You know, you get some time. You know, you lose some time. It's, it's kind of neither here nor there. They're going to get around 30 seconds here. New York subpar, though, you got to look at that rotation. This is kind of the name of the game here. We were talking about it in the map one. It's all coming back to me, Shio. New York subpar, they always got those rotations. LAG, they always break. But on a map like Karachi, let's see if that pans out. New York subpar, they pick up the first three. Let's see if they can hold off one more time. I mean, I think the issue, too, is that it's just going to be like Rio is just an easier map to be able to re-hit a site on, right? And it's like, mm -hmm. you know, if you're there for that rotation, it's not as punishing on Rio just because the map is smaller and it's a lot closer. Karachi, you are far away. Like when you spawn up, you are in Narnia. You look at where LAG spawning right now. Player one spawns all the way back mm -hmm. in P3. Like you are very far away from that. And that is going to make it count so much more when York picks up these kills. So... You can see one in the back. There's going to be one. Ace finds one. Is going to look for the second. Can't find it. And this is probably going to be, I mean, the last, you know, attempt at it. Extragic's going to find one. And they're going to, you know, try to get in. But that is probably going to be all she wrote for this one. And they're going to have to look for that rotation. Yeah, they're playing for scrap time here. And I'm not even sure it's worth it. Because you see player six, player five. They both have a head start here. You see four, three, and two. One's going to spawn out deep. So that's kind of the problem here. How long can lag survive you got player three on the point that's going to be ace young fig newton going to try to sneak on in eric's going to be watching that lane though and now x ragic he's going to have time to get back into this one trizzy in a nice off angle here how many can he get he gets zero so now that junk side of the map is going to be occupied by the new york subpar but what can you do with it those coop spawns are so close and all of new york going to be at that junk side 35 seconds left on the clock there's still an ample amount of time to fight for here you yeah, can see, and that's going to be the early pick as well. But Young Fig Newton's going to make his way inside. He's going to find oh. a player on the point. And that is going to be the break here, I do believe. You do see Trizzy is going to be looking to set up, but they know there's one player inside. He's going to be shooting down below. The bait and switch is going to be in. But, it, I mean, Young Fig Newton found one before going down, and that is going to delay them significantly. Now it's going to be all on ace here. Those is one up top. Is not going to find oh. that player up close. Six Ragic with the trade. And it's going to spot a second as well. So, I mean, it's absolute chaos here going towards P4 here. The players from the side of New York are going to spawn pretty darn close, though. And they're going to be there for that early time here. And, I mean, 73 to 65, this is a close one to start things off. Yeah, and x Ragic is everything right here. He's on a six streak. He's in the good part of the map. He's top third. It's going to be very hard for New York subpar to pick up time with x Ragic up there. And for this, I mean, you're just going to keep it white if you are LAG. You do not want any time going the way of uh, the New York subpar. And they're doing a great job of it. They're finding time as well. Eric, 10 and 2. x Ragic, 9 and 3. They have two cruise missiles to their name. 
Ace getting in the mix as well, and x Ragic has not fallen off of that top three. He finally is going to opt to rotate. Ace going to fight for the scrap time, and this is a big 20, and that's all going to go to LAG. New York subpar. They, they are going to have to fight in, but LAG, they're already at the new hill. I mean, they're here. I mean, they're beating them at their own game, right? New York is always the team that's there early. They get that early rotation. And so mm. far, it's just not working out right now because you can see you do have LAG here early and they're going to pick up this early time here. So, you know, they got all the scrap time over on P4 and then they're here early. And, you know, New York, this is where they let that game on Rio get away from them, right? There's one or two hills where they just get beat there early and that costs them the game. So... I mean, extra, he's on a 10 spree, finally goes down, mm -hmm. but Xtragic had 10 in a row there. And it's, I mean, you can see the results of that, right? The side of LAG beginning to pull away here on this hill. And finally, I do believe New York is going to break in. It's going to be Young Fig Newton on the point with the MCW in hand and is going to take out Xtragic in back-to-back -back kills. And this should be, you know, 20 seconds. I don't think LAG is going to fight for this. Right? Yeah, As I, I say don't that, they either. get the player um, on the point. I mean, player eight's there. Jay Rule's going to find the rest of that time. And I think if you are a New York subpar, you're going to have to be grateful that after that string of hills that you are not down by more points. I mean, you are going to be down only, you know, 15 points, make it 20. But, I mean, that could be so much worse. It could very easily be a 60 to 70 point game right now with the way that LAG played those last two strings of hills. But in the back, in the back of your mind as well, you got to remember that LAG have two cruise missiles to their name and they have the p1 control you're gonna have to break into this very shortly if you are the new york subpar and they are gonna do so flawlessly it's gonna be eric all alone top three the spawns do flip but with 39 seconds left to go this is still some nice juicy time to get here on the p1 x ragic and eric it's gonna be him with the cruise missile but they're gonna fight right back onto that point let's see how much time they can get here ace is gonna fly on in play his life well now those spawns i'm not sure which way they're gonna go you see they're gonna go toward that junk side of the map but you got young fig newton on the rotation to the new hill they're gonna have to to you know get this guy out of here but i'm not sure that they think that he's here they are not gonna know that young fig newton's in the back yeah, I mean, they're not going to be ready for this. I mean, maybe when the spawns come up and they're going to realize, hey, there's somebody in the back somewhere. Look at that close spawn that Young Fig Newton mm -hmm. just got for the team. Number eight, J Rule spawns right on top of him, basically. The point blank ones. It's all going to be down to the one player inside the hill here. And it's going to be X Ragic, who, as of right now, you oh. don't want any. You There's no one else you'd rather have holding the hill. And is going to do exactly that. Warlord here is going to be on the dumpster. I don't think he's aware there's a player right around the corner. No, there's Trizzy's there. And he should know there's a player in the close left here. And it is going to be, you know, Ace is trying to stay alive. Not going to be able to do so. It's x -Tragic trying to hold down the hill once again. But it's a 60 to 7, oh, 65 point lead here. That's just starting things up as well. x -Tragic finds one. Knows there's a second inside. A teammate will be there to follow up. It's going to be Trizzy trying to stay alive. Running around in a circle here. And Warlord will get cleaned up. So, I mean, there's the rotation you know that we're always talking about new york there on that rotation they had to give it up this was almost a full 60 here for lag it almost was and i mean we were talking about how close the score was just a moment ago young fig newton kind of was causing a problem for them but they're able to you know kind of take care of that with ease so uh, it worked out for them well so now uh, a 70 plus point lead for lag how many can New York make up here in this P3 area? It's going to be x Ragic playing the slow game, 18 and 7. He has been frying so far, along with his AR teammate, Eric. LAG, they're slowly collapsing. They're taking their time, and that's the way to play it. Eric with one, x Ragic with another. That's what you want to see. Now the collapse needs to come in. J rules. He's getting knocked down. Trizzy's there. That's the clean break, and it was a surgical one as well, Shio. Yeah, no, absolutely surgical. I don't, I don't even know if they lost a player in the whole process. They take down every single one from New York. Trizzy's going to oh. get caught, though. Warward with a big two-pace from up top is going to clear off that hill, which does mean that LAG is going to have to send another player back in order to pick up some of that time, and they do win the 1v1 on old. So that does mean the last scrap seconds are going to come through. That is LAG crossing the 200-point mark and more. So they're up to 213, nearly a 100-point lead. Once again, we've seen this before. The scenario is kind of repeating itself here, and we got to see now if New York can lock it in. Yeah, Warlord's trying to will the team to victory, but he gets cut down off of that third side area. J-Rules with a big kill right there. 
New York subpar doing a great job of finding this time for now, but this is the bad hill to kind of make up time on because this is just not one that you can effectively soak. And you see LAG, they're finding some kills now. Trizzy with two, ASAP Gavsky forced to make a play, but with 28 seconds left to go, I mean, New York subpar can most definitely close the gap, but that's a bad string of kills right there for them. That's going to be 20 seconds for them, and you can see player eight player seven they know they have to fight for this another kill for eric right there 20 and 9 x ragic 21 and 9 this is not the same story as the first hard point we talked about it before the scoreboard was close first time around this time you see x ragic and eric they are frying and new york subpar they just can not close the gap let's see if they do it here if now is a better time than ever and i think this will be their only time to do so Yep, I mean, you're, you basically have to hold the line here. You're going to go down. I mean, you're down by 25 here. And it's still, I mean, it's only 25 oh. for LRG to take the win. And Trizzy's going to find two. That's a big two-piece. Young Fig Newton comes in, finds one. That's the headshot. That's all Fig three, Nate. actually. It's all going to be on ace on the point. Is not going to stay alive long enough. And that is going to be the breaks. And New York, when it matters most, is going to find the kills that they need here. As they're going to pick up all of them, you can see the rotations as well. They're beginning to adjust here. 4P1, they're kind of setting up. They're relying on these two players. I mean, I'm not sure if they can really afford to do this because if you're going to give up a lot of that scrap time, you're getting closer and closer to defeat here. Young Fig Newton, though, is going to get caught top broken. Is going to somehow pick up that kill Whoa. on Trizzy. I don't know how. Probably not aware there's a player top third, though, and it is going to be ace. So you can see LAG is okay to set up for P1. They only need 12 more seconds of hill time in order to take the victory in the map and in the series. And I mean, that's gonna be a couple kills going the way here of LAG. And that's not what you wanna see if you're a New York fan here. No, absolutely not. And x Ragic has absolutely uh, taken a crazy route. I'm not sure if anybody in chat was tuned into that, but he found an absolute gap in the map right there. LAG, these are the last seconds for them to take this series home, but New York subpar not done yet. Trizzy tries to jump on that point, but he's unable to do so. 30 seconds left on the P1, and you have to not only find the rest of this time flawlessly, but you have to rotate it to the P2 as well. It's not impossible, but it's improbable, Shio. Oh, You're gonna no. have to see the kills go their oh, way three no. for them lag they break on in and that might do it trizzy with the two pieces the nail in the coffin and lag close out the series in a 3-1 fashion yep and that's just i mean it just happens at the end it just didn't work out enough in the end it's just oh, i mean they had the idea the rotation was there they were there early to go to next but the problem is you needed to stay on oh.